Hello everyone. Um, I'm sorry for, for the noise that uh, you might hear in the background. It is the white noise. Um, I have my baby right here. I managed to put him to sleep. He's going through a growth spurt right now and he's been having like long hours of insomnia during the day which is nice because I don't get to see him awake a lot or I didn't but sometimes it goes for like three four hours awake and um, you know it's really difficult to put him to sleep because nothing really pleases him so uh, right now he's asleep and I apologize for the bad quality of this video probably because I have a um, lamp like a salt lamp right here and the, the light is quite dim in the, in the room because um, he sleeps better with it and the white noise machine is on as well um, so yeah I do apologize for that but I hope you can still hear me well enough to understand what I'm saying um, so um, I was planning so initially I had in mind to do a breastfeeding video as you probably know um, in my very last video a while ago I've been silent since but it hasn't been easy uh, life hasn't been easy on me and motherhood hasn't been easy on me um, but some things have changed during this time so it's not going to be a breastfeeding video actually it's going to be a video about how I came off breastfeeding I switched to formula uh, within a very short of time um, and I will tell you uh, the reasons why and I know um, that this this talk you know about formula feeding it's such a controversial um, subject or like uh, I don't know people are being mothers are being judged for this choice if they choose to feed formula to their babies and I know there's a lot of critiques out there um, and I kind of just wanted to share my experience and why I chose to fully uh, exclusively feed formula to my baby after a, a month of uh, breastfeeding um, Basically, as you probably know in my last video, I was quite excited because I thought breastfeeding was going well, which was at times, most of the times, um, I was very sore and I was trying to take good care of my nipples and everything and breasts. Um, and sorry for the TMI, but obviously this is a uh, mom's channel, so if there's too much information for you, please um, do not watch this video. But, um, you know, it is a part of our journey as mothers and... I think there's no shame in speaking uh, openly about things that we go through. So anyways, what happened is that um, when I thought the breastfeeding was going well, um, baby was finally latching, I wasn't using nipple shoes and things like that. Um, during the daytime, breastfeeding was going quite well, latching, he was latching alright and eating and stuff, although I... It was really hard to understand because I think he was getting enough, maybe, at times, but most of the time he wasn't. Like, I didn't really have that letdown that people talk about and I had to research about it because I didn't really know what that means because I didn't really have it. Or if it was, it was rarely and it was during the evening or something like this. But most of the time, he was struggling sometimes. He wouldn't want one of my... Like I would give him uh, one of my breasts, like the right breast, for example, and he wouldn't want it. So I had to put him on the left one, and so so it was a struggle anyway. Um, but nevertheless, I tried. I tried. Um, I was sore pretty much all the time. Um, my, regardless of how much care I was taking of of my nipples and you know everything. I was sore all the time, constantly. In the night, he was sleeping, like he. It was a struggle for me to wake him up to eat, and he would wake up for a couple of minutes, try to, you know, uh, latch on, but he wouldn't latch properly. I couldn't. I was trying to make him uh, open his mouth wide and stuff, and he wasn't. And then I would end up with sore nipples. So. In the daytime, my nipples were recovering. In the nighttime, they were being damaged by him. So I tried and I researched how can I make him open his mouth wide or wake him up from his sleep. I tried with wet cloth, with tickling, get him naked, you know, all that stuff, that thing's blowing his cheeks and stuff. It wasn't working. Uh, so, but the ultimately why um, I decided to um, come off the breast um 
is because basically as you remember I told you that I had a clogged milk duct a while ago um, well a while ago it was about two over two and a half weeks ago well just on Monday I think um, so literally a, a beginning of the week or something like this I woke up in the morning in pain on the same breast and I realized that I had another clogged milk duct. This time there was no blister there but it was so painful and I started doing the you know care that I did uh, on the previous occasion when that happened. Uh, the whole day no improvement or very little whatsoever. And then I started like uh, writing on groups about asking for advice. How can I um, heal that fast or if they're moms and stuff. And obviously I already kind of knew what I should be doing because I did it in the uh, first place previously. And I had everything I needed but this time it wasn't really working well. And they kept telling me to feed the baby on the same because it will unclog. But I just couldn't. The pain was just so... It was going deep in my soul and like down to my toes. And I tried to put the baby on it to eat, but I couldn't. I could only hold him there for a few seconds, and then I literally was in tears. So I'm like, I just, I can't go through with this. I honestly can't. I just can't. So okay, I said I'll try to put him on the other breast only. But imagine, because you have to feed so often, and the breast was getting sore. And then I started getting really sore on that one too. And I don't know if it was the pain from my left one kind of transferring to the other one. But because it was like a ghost pain on both of them. Um, so then I just decided, okay, you know, I, ca I can't like, I can't put him on the on that breast now either. Because it's so sore and it has no time to recover. So what am I going to do? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give him like one of two meal feeds. I'm going to give him formula. That was my initial plan and stuff, because I already had formula in the house and stuff, um, and he had formula before. So I did give him formula, um, one feed or something, and then I just realized that actually it's not so much easier and like it's pain free for me to actually just give him formula that day. So I, I was kind of, I, I said to myself, I'll just give some time to my breast to recover. Um, left one was having the milk ducts, so obviously it was uh, going to take some time, and the other one was, um, you know, um, very sore. So I said, I'll give it a break, I'll just pump um, and give him some milk. And I had plenty of milk pumped in the fridge and like bags and stuff. And I said, I'll give him in a bottle and also supplement with formula. And, and then when my uh, breasts are recovered, then, you know, we'll see. I'll make a decision. Um, and as my, you know, the right nipple was kind of healing slowly and stuff like you know I was feeling I had to think very well I just thought I can't like be in pain you know that what made me decide to go off completely and I did a cold turkey guys I like cold turkey and I tell you it's not easy it's not fun it's freaking painful so if you have the, the patience to um, do it gradually then do it but I was like if I'm gonna do it gradually not only am I gonna extend my sadness and my guilt and my frustration and everything and I'm probably gonna have second thoughts but then I'm still gonna go back in the same place because I'm still gonna be sore and everything and my baby is not gonna be like is I'm gonna put him on and off and on and off and I just said I'd just rather cut it cut it off completely you know cold turkey we're both gonna suffer a little bit a week or something but then you know it will all be better for both of us because I was so unhappy guys and that's that's the reason why I was like in constant pain and I was barely enjoying motherhood like I was dreading the time of you know feeding him because I just realized I was just thinking oh my god I'm gonna be in pain again and while I was feeding him instead of gazing in his eyes or looking at his face and things like that I was like thinking how many minutes am I gonna have to stay uh, for him to feed so honestly I was feeling miserable I was suffering and um, I realized that actually it's not healthy and if one starts suffering um, then it's definitely not a good thing 
um, because motherhood should be a joyful moment. I should be able to bond with my baby during the feeding time instead of dreading it and waiting for him to finish and stuff. So, yeah, I had a really good thought. And although I was feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to be one of those mothers who are going to feed him formula, like, I should be trying. I started feeling really guilty and... Um, you know, I went to GP, saw me, and he said that is, uh, you know, my breasts were very engorged, both of them, and he gave me some antibiotics because he thought that I might end up with mastitis on one of them and stuff. Anyway, so those things kind of forced me, in a sense, helped me to make my decision, um, you know, and just get off um, and just feed him formula. And so I thought much better. I started reading online and I watched videos on YouTube about moms, like positive formula feeding stories and um, about other moms who chose to uh, feed formula despite all the criticizing that goes around and benefits and stuff. So I just tried to get all like information in to help me um, feel like I'm making the right decision and to understand that I'm making the right decision, not because I'm selfish or because I'm like of course i i just didn't want to go with the pain anymore because i was making me so miserable and unhappy that i couldn't enjoy anything my body all my body was in pain so um but i didn't want to I, I wanted to understand the you know that i'm making the best choice for me and my baby so that we can be both happy um because at the end of the day, a bird says breast is best, and it's true, it is. It's got so many health benefits and everything. But really, my baby probably wants, you know, like you would be a better benefit to your baby if you're happy and if you smile and you can love him and you can, you know, play with him and things like that instead of being in pain and being miserable and think, dreading every single, you know, time you pump or feed and stuff. So. Yeah, it was it wasn't easy to make the decision, and after I took the decision, I was still like whole. I was still kind of thinking to con like reconsidering it in my head. Um, I was feeling so emotional. I was crying because my baby, like he would never look for my breast before when I would breastfeed, but once I stopped with the breast, he started looking for my breast, and. Um, you know, and I was so tempted to give it to him, but then I just said to myself, no, I'm not going to do this. I need to go on with this because otherwise, you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be okay for any of us in the long run. So, you know, it broke my heart because when he was looking for the breast, I was in tears, like honestly guys, in tears. And I couldn't stop crying for like five minutes and I, I was feeding him the bottle and it was just painful. It, might, it was breaking my heart because I felt like our connection was somehow broken and stuff. And it took me some really good days to actually understand and realize that actually, yes, you're bonding through breastfeeding, but that's not the only way to bond. Like I hold my baby all the time when I bottle feed him. I, I, you know, I kiss him on his forehead. Um, I kiss his cheeks. I. You know, I hold him really tight and really close, and sometimes I do skin to skin, although because I've been very much in pain with my breast because they've been engorged and obviously cold turkey, I, have, I wasn't able to do skin to skin with him. But once those are going to be healed, I will do a lot more often skin to skin with him. And, uh, you know, like you can want so many ways, other ways. And the baby feels if he's been sleeping on my chest a lot and stuff. And to be honest, like, there's one thing I can say, guys, like, it was really hard to make this decision. I felt guilty and I felt shame. I felt frustrated. I felt like I'm failing at being a mom and that maybe I should just, you know, suck it up or, you know, live with the pain and things like that. Um, like many moms do, like, they end up with sore crack nipples. I don't know how they feed their kids, honestly, with bloody nipples and cracks and stuff like that. I, I honestly don't know like, I don't want to sound like I'm selfish but to be honest you know pain is not something fun and if you if you like hate something and if, like really dread that moment then I don't think you should do it so um, since I've started the formula feeding baby's been sleeping really well actually and I've given him um, I've, I've got some some stuff like for colleagues and for stuff just to prevent 
uh, some stuff and I will do another video for you guys another day because I'm actually using up some things like really good things so I'll do another video with my setup for uh, formula feeding because it works really well and during the daytime during the night time but right now I just wanted to share my experience with switching to formula um, so since I've switched with formula my breast got really like engorged I was in a hell of a lot of pain really like I still am like I still am and I'm almost on the seventh day but hopefully another two three days and then that'll be it until the milk dries up I've been doing all this research how to dry up your milk really quick and stuff it for me it hasn't worked that you know that fast um, but um, what I did is basically um, to to stop, you know, to switch to formula, I basically uh, stopped fully breastfeeding him, or and I um, almost kind of reduced pumping a lot because pumping and expressing and stuff uh, stimulates, uh, you know, milk production. So I was suffering like hell, especially in the night. Daytime was not okay, it was super painful, I could barely touch, could barely hold my baby in my arms and stuff. But during the night time I was in tears honestly and I would wake up, express a little bit just to relieve some pressure, put cold compresses and a cold cabbage leaves and I was taking antibiotic and uh, sudafed or something like this. Uh, which apparently helps with drying uh, the milk uh, up and I was doing all these things you know just to kind of help and I couldn't really see a difference up until like today probably you know like yesterday or yeah yesterday I would say a big difference but today I can see a big difference and I'm hoping that in the next two three days it will stop fully like they will be pain free um, and so yeah it hasn't been easy at all um but you know i just thought i'm gonna have to take this pain so i can enjoy my baby happy happy uh, a lot longer and um i must tell you for like formula feeding yes it might not be all those health benefits that you know antibodies and everything that your milk gives the breast milk gives but I still supplement with like probiotics, I uh, give him probiotics, I give him um, this cauliflower drops and I will share on the, another video with you guys. I have been sometimes giving him like penalty and stuff, um, you know, uh, vitamin D drops and stuff. So I, I you know, I still, and I, and I know God is going to take care of him. That's all I can say. It's like... Yes, breast milk is beneficial in uh, things, but God who is the ultimate one that protects, he gives lives, takes lives, and he takes care of us. So I just pray that he's going to protect him and keep him healthy, and, you know, um, and so far so good. He hasn't been having that many problems with gas and stuff, but mainly because I'm also giving him these things, which really work. And... Um, he sleeps well and I sleep so much better during the night time like I can have easily uh, between feeds two hours uh, three hours and it's such a blessing honestly before I was like in tears because I was so tired so I'm really 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 uh, grateful because the formula has had really good benefits and I'm a single mom and I have to do everything anyway like I feed formula you know it's just me getting up so I don't have a partner. I do have my mom, but she sleeps upstairs, and I'm not gonna wake up. If I'm gonna wake up, this makes no sense for me to wake her up, but for her to feed him. I'm just gonna feed him myself. So it's going well, to be honest. Like some days it's really tiring. I feel very tired, but um, I feel like with the the formula has changed a lot of things in our lives to a positive side and he sleeps a lot better deeper because formula keeps him full longer and i get to sleep as well which is great because i get to be happier for him and energetic and stuff and um yeah like it's it's good you know formula it's a good quality that i have it's a cow and gate and it's working well so far um so yeah and he's growing he's six weeks now and he 
he's got you know, you know he gained the weight that he should be gaining and I think uh, we're gonna have his checked soon at some point um, but I think he's around 5 kg right now which is very good for his age and um, you know I'm definitely much better mentally and physically uh, mentally it was really really stressful for me and uh, I tell you like it doesn't really matter your baby is gonna love you regardless I know it's gonna be hard to make some decisions but such is life but um, if you're going to lose your mental health or your physical health and you know you're not gonna enjoy your baby and you know those special precious moments that you should be spending with him then I think you should just really consider very well and make the right decisions for yourself and not look around yourself because nobody knows your path nobody knows what you're going through your reasons and everything you know like you're the only one who knows what the right thing is and yes a lot of moms choose to go through the pain and you know them destroy their nipples and they can take the pain and they have a pain tolerance and they have um, you know they have better schedules uh, I don't know they they can do it breastfeeding is not for everyone I've tried I'm really glad that I have tried um, you know but I did not want to risk losing my mental health and also you know not being a happy mom and healthy mom for my baby so yeah and we're okay you know fed is the best not you know that's that's the best so anyways um if you guys have any questions about how i did it because i didn't really detail here you know how i went off like the whole process of me uh weaning off the you know breastfeeding if you have any questions about anything about this journey and stuff you know please drop them down in a comment down below um and i will definitely do a video next time with um, the stuff that I'm giving to my baby for colic relief and fussiness and gas and stuff like this and it's going well so far I've got lots of wet diapers and few uh, dirty ones um, and he sleeps well um, so yeah um, if, if I'm gonna do a video for about that too um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, drop them down and I will answer them. But in the meantime, please, please make sure you do the best for yourselves and take care of your mental health. And your, because only if you're healthy, you can give the best. Um, the, if you're healthy, you can give the, the healthiest love to your baby and those around you. So that is vital. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go and eat my sandwich now before baby wakes up. So see you guys later. Bye.